and welcome to the first episode of Access, your brand new weekly look at the best of PlayStation in the UK. On the show this week, we hit the road with PlayStation's Access Live Tour, which gives you a chance to play PS3's biggest games before release. We delve into the PlayStation Store to pick out the best deals, demos and downloadables, and we put new alien-busting shooter Resistance 3 through its online paces. But before all that, we're lacing our shooting boots for our first ever Game of the Week, FIFA 12. Hold on to your fibulas, strap your kneecaps in Kevlar and lock your metatarsals in a Swiss safe deposit box because FIFA 12 is in town and it wants to break your bones. The return of EA's football giant heralds the arrival of the player impact engine that makes every tackle, collision and botch step over a thing of shin shredding beauty. Ha! She fell over! She fell over! With daintier players at greater risk of being sent backside over elbow, you'll be relieved to hear that the game's dribbling has also received an extensive overhaul. Player turning circles are now sixpence tight and you can effortlessly shift direction with an easy flick of the left stick. Slalom sprinters like Nanny can ghost through defences without a second's thought for the trick stick, although showboating is there for anyone who fancies handing out the odd humiliation sandwich, with skill passes now added for extra wind-up ability. Olé! Defending has also been rejigged, meaning you can no longer just hold X and watch as Vidic beelines in for a crunching tackle. Now you've got to time your challenges to perfection, or risk being harshly penalised by longer player recovery times, or worse, the often overzealous referees. Also upping the realism is FIFA's career mode, which has undergone a few welcome changes. The transfer system is now far more helpful, handily informing you if your targets are a bit too speculative. Come on, Fernando, you know you want to sign for Palace, really. As a manager, you can now talk to the press before matches, either bigging up your own players or having a Fergie-style pop at the opposition coach. And the whole interface is slicker and more accessible than before, which pretty much sums up FIFA 12 as a whole. It's smooth, responsive and robust, with an unmatched visual sheen and player likenesses so realistic you'll want to punch Tevis right in his petulant I hate Manchester face. FIFA 12 launches on PS3 on September the 30th, and we recommend it like flying in studs up on Cristiano Ronaldo's marble sculpted calves. Have it! Time now for your PlayStation briefing, a 90 second look at the week's hottest stories. First up, some exciting news for Skyrim fans. Vampires are in. Manage to get bitten by one of the fanged nasties and you'll develop a lovely case of vampirism yourself, forcing you to do all your questing at night time and slurp the blood of sleeping citizens to keep your batteries charged and your teeth nice and glossy. Speaking of glossy, look at the screen on that. It's the new PlayStation certified Sony tablet and it comes in two equally strokeable varieties. The Sony Tablet S features a 9.4 inch touchscreen, whereas Bendy Sibling, the Sony Tablet P, favours folding dual screens. Both are tooled up with optional 3G and Wi Fi connectivity, but most importantly, you can play PlayStation games on them, like classic platformer Crash Bandicoot. Eat Wumper Fruit competing tablet products. Pointing our news-hungry peepers further into tomorrow, Rockstar has confirmed neo-noir shooter Max Payne 3 for a March 2012 release. Expect moody faces, leather-coated slow-mo, and for the first time in the series, a level-grinding multiplayer mode, all of which seems to be causing Mr. Payne undue stress, as evidenced by the hair falling off his head and getting stuck to his face. Lastly, it's rebrand o'clock for Sony's digital entertainment services this week, with the announcement of Sony Entertainment Network. This is a swish new unified service that takes Curiosity and the video store, gives them sensible new names and then wraps them up in a glossy redesigned blanket. That was your PlayStation Briefing. We'll be back next week with more hot gossip. Welcome to On The Store, the part of the show where we have a rummage through PSN's shiniest new content and check out the latest PlayStation Plus offers. Hovering menacingly above PSN this week is Criterion's top-down traffic smasher, Burnout Crash. That's an interesting name, isn't it? I wonder how they came up with... Oh, Oh, yes, I see. Burnout Crash is on the store today, and although it's ditched the series' trademark eye-blistering visuals in favour of the oldie 2D, the car-crunching mayhem remains comfortably familiar. Currently staging a massive invasion on DLC land is this add-on bundle for achingly gorgeous FPS Battlefield Bad Company 2. 
The downloadable pack is available right now and includes the frantic onslaught mode as well as the entire Vietnam multiplayer expansion. A fantastic way to flex your trigger fingers before Battlefield 3 arrives next month and smothers us in its loving, shooty embrace. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> Hello, kindly hooded man. What are you buying? Um, Resident Evil 4 HD, please. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. And thanks to PlayStation Plus's latest offer, you can now download Resident Evil 4 HD at a friendly discount. Is that all, stranger? Oh, do shut up. Stop. We're finishing up this week's PSN perusal on the video store, where available to download right now is the super slick Fast and Furious 5. This is a hundred million dollars. You say what? There is a plot in there somewhere, but we're far more interested in the curvy cars and thunderous chase sequences. Screw you, physics. Add in Vin Diesel and Paul Walker generally looking cool and kicking lots of bad guy butt, and Fast Five is less about the cerebral workout, more about the eye candy. Fine by us. Welcome to Bonus Level, your weekly snack-sized PlayStation treat. By now, you've probably killed more Chimera than Joseph Capelli's got brown jumpers, but there's more to Resistance 3 than merely blasting the bug-eyed faces off diseased aliens. We're talking about the multiplayer, of course, and we've been dipping our toes into Resistance 3's torrent of online death and destruction, and surprisingly have managed to hold our own. <sighs> hold our own liver as it bleeds out through our bullet-addled corpse, that is. There are plenty of modes on show, from FPS staples such as Deathmatch and Capture the Flag to the more team-oriented Chain Reaction. Heck, you can even gun down opponents in the Valleys of Glamorgan. We sat down with Insomniac senior designer Cameron Christian, who told us how he likes to play the game. I like Chain Reactions. You're kind of playing tug-of-war, like you capture a point, and once you capture the first point, you have to either defend it or attack a point. Fair dues, Cameron. You won't want to come up against us, though. Eat lead, noobs! <laughs> oh, killed by a man in an electric tutu. Lights up, cue stormtroopers, and action! Welcome to Access All Areas, the part of the show where we take you behind the scenes of the industry's biggest events and studios. This week we're checking out PlayStation's own Access Live events, a touring roadshow of unreleased games, live entertainment, and if you're really lucky, free drinks and pizza. As part of a UK-wide tour, Access Live has already had quite the summer, bumping shoulders with some seriously committed film fans at Empire Magazine's big screen event at the O2, oh, cheer up Obi-Wan, and opening its doors to a lucky throng of community members in Birmingham who were treated to their first taste of upcoming blockbusters like Uncharted 3 and Assassin's Creed Revelations. I mean, I'm looking forward to the Assassin's Creed Revelations. Uh, I think it's a, a big advancement from the previous series. Uh, it looks really, really good. I mean, the graphics are actually blown me away. I was quite surprised at how good it actually looks. Yeah, Dark Souls, very difficult game. Uh, I've been playing it this evening. Uh, I've been killed by the same night about six times. I haven't got past the first corridor. The Uncharted series has been brilliant. Um, it's one of the staples for the PlayStation. If you've got a PlayStation, you have to have Uncharted. I think PlayStation Access is a fantastic event because it allows normal gamers to play the best games before they're released to the general public. It's just really, really fun. Adding a touch of glamour to the occasion was upcoming pop starlet Yasmin, who endeared herself to the PlayStation populace by rocking out some thumping dance tunes. And wearing a slightly see-through top. Clearly, an amazing time was had by all. And if you like what you see, then head on over to facebook.com slash PlayStation Access, where you can get the latest on future Access events and sign up to take part. Before we go, we've just got time for a pop culture nod found in futuristic punch em up Deus Ex Human Revolution. In a game full of sneaky references, the best of the bunch is in Detroit's Metropolitan Police Station, where in a third floor office belonging to Detective Alex Murphy, you'll find two cops talking about Robocop. It's this movie from the 1980s about this cop. He gets all shut up and gets rebuilt as a cyborg. Uh, is that with Van Damme? No, that's something else. That's it for our first episode. To tell us what you think and to get involved with exclusive competitions and additional content, visit our Facebook page at facebook.com slash PlayStation Access or point your smartphones towards this friendly QR code. We'll see you next week. <laughs>